What are the capabilities of the Taliban? What are you up against? That's hard to say. We're moving into areas that we haven't had a persistent presence. We really don't understand the, the dynamic in the area, and we're just learning. I don't think that there's a large Taliban army massing to my south uh, that's going to conduct some big attack, uh, but they are effective and they are intelligent. Um, they learn, but at the same time, they're not supermen. And I think, you know, man for man, skill for skill. Once we're on that west side. My Marines and sailors are 10 times better than any Taliban fighter that they'll ever see. But the reality is I don't think that they're very strong. At this point, I actually think that they're kind of weak. Um, then they're wondering what they should do next. We have actually put them back on their heels. Uh, but what I've seen since I've been here is that we have to keep the pressure on them because if we let the pressure off of them, they will make an assessment and figure out a weakness in our defense uh, and come after us. What are the Taliban objectives? I really don't know. Um, basically what it looks like to me is that the Taliban want to kill civilians um, and want this country to go back to what it experienced at the end of their at the end of their reign, which I don't think any of the people want. You know, to my mind, if the Taliban wanted to fight, really fight, then they would have put their weapons down and run for office. They would have had somebody, Mullah Omar would have come and run for the president, presidency, and they would have people run for the provincial council. But they know they can't win. They don't have the consent of the people. All they offer is violence. All they offer is death. Nothing positive. So in my mind, you know, we have every reason that we should win this fight and every reason that we should deliver progress, but we have to go out and do it each and every day. It's a very simple problem, I think. Uh, it's just very difficult in the execution because it requires so much uh, from every Marine, soldier, sailor, airman, um, from every country as well as the civilians to deliver every day. Because we all walk around with the adage, you do not promise something to an Afghan that you don't know that you can deliver. And so what we have to do each and every day is deliver. It doesn't have to be a lot, but it has to be something each and every day.